But we need to get out of here in the morning. Presumably after we track down the kid, but I'll let you what happens in the night. That you're looking like you light away with me now. Oh, well. Top of the house, room 401. Come on, let's have it. Well, apparently, we now know that these guys are on the way. from this vision of Alien Academy and And load up Attack of the Fishmen. <laughs> it's a pretty apropos title. And wake up while we're about to be attacked. Just keep the noise down. It's locked. Probably bolted on the other side. He's awake in there. I can hear him moving about. Break the door down, you damn fool. So yeah, we can't stay, so... To the other room and bolt this door as well. Oops. Or try to make sure that it's loaded. Or bolted. And be unsuccessful this time. Oh boy. Down first. Yep. So that didn't quite go as smoothly as it could have. So we can't really push that out of the way. With an axe murder in the room. So let's try that one more time. Why don't we? Alright. Oh, oh fuck now. Fucking Windows 7 arrow. What did it do to me? Right, there we go. Now I actually managed to, managed to do that in time. And slowly get this thing out of the way so that we can keep moving further into the hallways. Oops. And to be subjected to this weird thing where... Well, both, of course. Well, apparently... Failed to do this again. Or did I mean, we can try to lock this guy out. We need to have him go through the door and... Have time slowing down, which pretty much means that we're rapidly dying, but... Oh boy. Well, due to erratic enemy behavior, we could have still salvaged that, but maybe not. Alright, one more time. Oddly enough, I had to redo a lot of parts during my first playthrough of this, but I don't remember this being one of them. Oh, of course. No, I'm not. There, Jesus. Alright, I'm looking. My mouse is on the right side of the screen, the pointer is. So it won't go to where the taskbar is. Alright, no. There we go. Got both doors bolted, and we can stash this and continue. Not static, but loot it, I guess. Do the same here and do this. Uh, not there. Hang on. The lock is broken. I'll have to block the door with something and quickly. There we go. Push this thing in front of the door. That will do. How about this bit? Oh well. And uh, well, we need to push this out of the way as well. No time for that. I gotta press on. Also, try to steal as many books as possible. That is important. So only one way out of here. 
Oh, but there is. See? Oh boy, I don't know where you can look down fire from doing this. Good thought, but that probably would have been a good idea, actually. Because when we get shot, we need sutures pretty much every time, but... Because I'm gonna try to conserve sutures, I'm gonna wait for that to become a bandage wound. And actually duck in the future. Well, I don't think that's gonna matter anymore. I mean, they got the whole town after us now, pretty much. Oh boy. Oh boy, there's a dead person with a very fishy appearance. Or not a dead person. Apparently they were just sleeping and now they're making a lot of noise. So let's quickly um, steal another one of these and... Whoops. And bandage ourselves for continuing. Oh boy. Or maybe that was a bad idea. Maybe I should have jumped forward for attempting that because, oh boy. Because that does look like. Oh man, we have to go back all the way over here. I forgot about this. Oh. Mr. Bone to our I guess. Uh, what am I doing now? Oh yeah, doing this. I don't know, but we have to really I guess we have to be really careful to not take any gunshot wounds. Because being wounded does slow us down. Which I guess in that case means that we can't make the jump from one platform to the next. Well this just does get easier every time you do it many times in a row. Get all the quirks. Down pet. And I hope I can remember a lot of the other quirks that this game has because they're not in shirts by There's nothing no, 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 no. Oh, it won't open by this guy again. He's very hysterical. I guess we can avoid waking him or not. Never mind. So let's uh, grab this and escape. See if I can actually do this this time without getting uh, jumped completely. Oh boy. There we go. Oops. Uh. And use thief methods. Are, oh boy. One moment. Apparently I can't do this.
Okay, apparently the smart TV was being stupid and didn't want to detect the Wi-Fi, but now it did. Anyway, we're back. It won't open. Oh, and it won't open. Uh, oh, here we go. He's going across the roof. So anyway, I completely forgot what I was saying moments before I was taken away by that matter. But it's time for a more hands-on stealth approach here. Oops. When we get into this place... Oh, hang on a minute. Are we hurt? We are not hurt. Why then are we moving so slowly? I think I can come up with an explanation for this. Okay, well... I guess we can save before anything else happens. And, um, I'll try to get that thing that was up there, I would imagine, or maybe I just missed my chance to do that. But at any rate, I have to get through the, yes, get through this room without being seen. Hmm. I'm kind of annoyed by the fact that apparently I can't get back up from that railing. Maybe I can, just not being resilient enough. No, I'm guessing I, the answer is actually no. Oh well. So let's see if we can get past this room. There's a guy. But fortunately, the enemies are very short sighted as well. And even if they do find you, they have a very short. Uh, Critical thinking capacity and uh, memory. Stop. Oh boy, like right there. Stop. Yeah, yes. Where did he go? I wonder where he could have gone. There's absolutely no I place we could look. It. Oh man, we could just rush past. Maybe not rush, maybe that can actually be used. It's a tactical advantage. Oh, boy. oh that guy saw me. Here. And we can survive a few gunshots at least. But not very many. Oh, boy. Him down. Stop him. oh why don't you move? Oh well. And we can't really do anything to defend ourselves either, right? since you know we don't have any weapons or anything of the sort. But that should change for too long. Oh, boy. Yeah, I wonder where he could be. I don't know what they're shooting at. Well, maybe they do know, but yeah, I don't think uh, they're actually going to leave leave it. Until I get out and... Oh boy. No, I don't know where we are right now, but then they did. Oh, right. oh no, we're actually getting hit now and slowed down by something. Unfortunate. But what am I to do with our injuries? Yeah, because we can get injured, how oh, well. Well, that's why they put a save point right at the side of this room. Even when you inevitably screw up, we can start over like this. Yes, I'm trying to click continue, thank you very much, alright. Well, it doesn't really help either that there's pretty much no real way of knowing. Oh, here we go, we can get back into railing this way, I'll bet. I thought, but then I saw that apparently that wasn't wanting to happen. Hmm. Oh, whoops, I will. I don't think they hear us falling off like that anyway. No, we can break our leg, however. Seriously. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and... Uh, do that again. I think I'm gonna give up on trying to get that thing. Alright. Just 
shuffle on by. No worries about anything. How do we get up there? Because that's where we have to go this way, I guess. Yeah, I guess. He's here! Oh. Kill him. Won't budge. Oh, there we go. That's how we get out. So how we can easily avoid harm here if we just duck. Apparently we're not hurt by falling glass either. Someone else shooting at us, so yeah, I think from over there. Oh well, we can survive this. Because now that we're on the air duct, we can check to see how badly hurt we are. We only need a bandage, I think. We can part with one, always. And save yet again, which, you know, why wouldn't we after that ordeal? This warehouse has several levels. Yes, I guess this was our uh, introduction to sneak mode because we didn't see the message before. On this timeline. But I mean, sneak mode doesn't really do anything except just make you move slower and raise your field of vision a little. Oh man. Is that the only way to move from here? I don't know. There is a guy right over there in front of us. And we can't take him out or anything. Well, how do we go? This is how we do it. The only thing we have to do in this room is find our way to this, uh, this cylinder, the floorboards area. With the rats that fortunately don't do anything. Drawers are locked, but at least we can uncover yet another safe sigil. And having stolen yet another one of those uh, safe boxes or healing boxes, we can unlock this. Hmm. Or try to. Or I guess we're not doing going to do that and do we have enough space to do that also while we're gonna perpetually make it so that it sounds like we're pushing the box. Or not anymore, never mind. So most of the guys that are in here before have left. Leaving us a pretty clear eh, a pretty clear path ahead. Out to the streets, but now the thing is they are out in the streets, so So we gotta watch out for that. Small dudes over there, so not that way. We have to head straight forward into the Simpson Sullivan Export place. So there's pretty much nowhere else to find anywhere else. Oh, there should be another guy nearby, I 
think. Maybe there he is. Just wait for him to pass on by. Oh boy. And can we get jittery before continuing on and turning right? Which gives us leeway to explore in this direction. Oh boy. And apparently make him spot us somehow, even though we're quite far away. I don't think he'll follow us though, or alert this guy. Christ, they're everywhere. I need to keep my head down. Okay. Well, good thing you noticed, Jack, because I wouldn't have. It won't budge. So where to now? I'm actually kind of lost there. And I don't know if that guy's bleh. If that guy's gonna turn around, I guess it didn't matter anyway since someone else decided to look this way. No, I guess this is the way forward. Oh boy. I don't know what just happened, but I'm guessing it was the sound of this sky falling. For God's sake! Your friend is dead. Jesus Christ, no! You're a fool, Willie! Told you it wasn't safe in there. Look, fella, I know you're upset, but I really need some help. Ah, you're the outsider they're hunting tonight. You don't have a hope, stranger. The Order's mob will be everywhere you turn. Down the sewers is the only place that them folks balk at venturing. And for good cause at that, mind you. I can cope with foul air. It'll be a change from the stink of dead fish. You're not getting my meaning, stranger. There's rumor of real horrors in the black dankness beneath these streets. Maybe the folk with the taint are devils. But at least they're devils of this earth. You ever hear tell of a Shagath, stranger? Just tell me where I can get into the sores. Also, I'm pretty sure you mean right. Shagath there, fella. You've been warned. Just the other side of this here building is a road leading down to the filtration plant. There's an open sewer pit down there. Good luck, stranger. Alright, so here's a dead guy. And right next to a save seat as well. That's gonna about to actually hang on a minute. Before I save, let me pretty sure I'm wounded. Yep, I need some patching up and roll bandages, so this is just a quick heal option. Which eats up our bandages, but that's alright, that's why we have so many of them. And save. And we'll come out on this street for this uh, curious scene, this big sloped road. And if we climb up to the top, there's a truck here. I think you might see where this is going. This little block. Stopping it from rolling down, but not anymore, so... Hmm. So, yeah... I'm not so sure this was one of my better ideas. About, so less could be expected. With no driver. And down here we are now. Near the entrance to the sewer, conveniently enough. Take him down. And we can find this dirty looking metal bar. Metal bar. Are we hurt? No, we're not, miraculously. Don't let him so here's the way to the sewers, but there's a fan in the way, of course. The fans old and rusted. The sewer so if we use our metal bar, it mustn't have been maintained for some time. If we look at it just the right way and use the metal bar, then we can do that. 
Um, even though uh, the problem is that messes with the engine, so that probably makes it go faster as well. Gotta watch out for that. And since it's really dark ahead, the only viable way to proceed is there we go. Let's look at the fan and walk backwards. At least that way you can actually tell if you're moving. Oh boy. Ah, here we go. So these are the sewers. That we were warned to stay away from. Okay, and there's... If that is the sound of a crying child. And if we look through these bars... Hello? No, wait! We can see that dead girl running away. And our sanity takes a hit. And uh, down here we have this stuff lying around. What the heck? Ah, shit! It's corrosive! Well, although it's corrosive, I don't know how we find out since I wasn't anywhere near it, but apparently it's corrosive enough to warrant bandage use. Damn it. Well, I'm not following you. You just happen to be in coincide with the direction that I'm traveling. Oh boy! And once again, there's a dead guy right next to the safe sign. Something down here, all right. So let's just get patched up again. Yes, I, I don't really know why we need to, but. Let's perpetuate our progress. And find this next puzzle to move on. Anything over here? There is not except one of these, which we need always. It only has like two bandages inside, that's right. So, um, we can only proceed through this thing right here, on the right. But it's full of sludge right now. And from what we've seen, it's very corrosive, so... So what do we do? Well, if we... Raise that thing, we can try to drain it, but apparently there's a continuous flow of sludge to it. No, that doesn't really do anything. But if we look up, we can identify there's two pipes feeding that thing. And one of them seems to be the sludge pipe. So if we turn that off and turn on the water flow. And try to draw that. We should at least uh Make the water clearer. The water I just need to drain it away. So now that we've cleaned all the sludge out, we can actually drain that off. And clear the way. And we need to hurry up because if we don't cross this quickly enough that thing goes back down. And can't hurt us pretty badly if we're near it when that happens. Oh boy, and we're here at the pit of the dead, and there's the old man. God, it's the old fisherman, Zadok Allen. So no, he didn't last the night. Ten hour cell is full of bugs. Whatever they are. Silver cockroaches of some sort. Oh well. This must be the order's punishment for him talking to me. Yep, apparently the um oh, he was taken away by something. I kinda missed it. But apparently this is a popular dumping spot. He's calling to me. And we're now muttering to ourselves. So 
Well, you can get out of here, Jack, if you just keep moving. That's what we're trying to accomplish. What was that? That was what? You just grabbed one of the medical boxes. Oh well. Jeez. Oh, here we go. I can hear them calling to me. Oh man, it's time for creepy children again. I guess. Oh man. Why'd you let me die? Well, I don't think that was up to me, dude. Do you know there was a killer croc in your attic? We weren't exactly forward about that. Oh, also, there's um, some venomous crabs down here, which are pretty much the only enemies in the game that. Uh, make the use of antidote necessary, so that's why we only need to carry a couple of vials of those at a time. And they cannot be avoided entirely, so that's what I'll try. Well, they can be attempted to be avoided, but apparently they'd work this time around, or... It would if I knew what the way forward was where I'd found it. So here's another uh, puzzle that's kind of hard to figure out. We can try to get out this way, but if we do that... Oh, this couple of folks are right there, so not very well welcome. So what we do is... We climb up to these other uh, nearby... Is loose. It hasn't been tightly fixed nearby gratings and... Press up against them. Did, did you hear it? To get these guys to follow the sound and keep doing that. Came from there. To make sure that they're right next to the grating. And can by I doing this, we can lure them away from the exit. I heard something over there. Kind of a dumb thing that Are you down there, outsider? not really sure how you're supposed to figure out on your own, but that's how it works. Can you see anything? So now the way should be reasonably clear. We should be able to get out and duck. Uh, avoid the gratings because we can still there, step on them and make a noise, so they're over there, so we can duck in here real quick and grab the medical box for some extra supplies and keep going Is this way. Here? Whoops! Oh, and maybe not this way. Miracle cures, <laughs> more like oh, some kind trying to make a fast buck. And fail to realize which way is the way forward until it's too late. Right there we go. Hmm. Can watch out for stuff breaking as we try to step across. Where did he go? Also, um, I'm not sure how this we can see this, spot. The there's a crate blocking the door, so the way we deal with that is by using the winch to pull it up. Spread out. And it stays up here, so now we need to get down there without breaking our legs. And without getting burned, so I there we go. Look for the shadows to jump down. So no you don't. Because the door is closed, and now I am invincible because of that. Alright, so Jack, why are you slowing down? You're not hurt, are you? No, you're just fine, see? You're just being a whiner, Jack. Need to keep moving, you see. I don't know why you're suddenly slowing down like this. There's no reason for it. There. The area. So grab some more loose ammo that we can't use yet. Where did you go? I think that's revolver ammo. These posters are everywhere. And apparently nowhere else to go, so moving forward. 
decorative vase. Nothing of interest. And look out, because I'm pretty sure there's... Uh, well, there's, that's where Ruth is. But before we talk to her... I'm pretty sure there's a few patrols up ahead. Or not Ruth. What was her name? Rebecca? Yeah, Rebecca, that's it. But before we trigger the cutscene that happens when we talk to her, let's look around a bit. Budge. We can get a, a few extra it documents. Won't open. We'll try to. Maybe the doors won't open until we talk to her. Or maybe I'm just looking in the wrong place. Here we go. It's the minister's journal. The minister who might have been her father or grandfather. I forget how the story goes. So let's get the story before we proceed. We've got the diary of the church minister. The evil began in 1846. The Innsmouth look started in the Marsh family. Ichthyosis was the name coined for the condition. <laughs> And he tried to stay and fight the evil, and he discovered the Elder Sign. Which apparently wards it off. And is what the save points are. The pure blood apparently does not refer to the blood of the healthy. Wives were sometimes mentioned but never named, and there were no marriages. Or at least not, according to the minister. There were births, but no baptisms. And the ones who aren't rubbed up in that are fearful. Yes, we've seen this firsthand. So now let's talk to Rebecca. Jack, you're alive. Thank God. Just barely. The order has got half this blasted town on my heels. I warned you, Jack. I told you the order wouldn't stand. Save it, sweetheart. You found anything more on Brian? He never made it out of town. The order has him holed up in the old jailhouse until he's needed. Needed? Needed for what? Sacrifice, Jack, to Dagon. They'll take him out to Devil's Reef, and he'll never be seen again. Dagon? Sacrifice? This is crazy talk. Innsmouth's old fishing tales have muddled your mind. But mm, I don't want another death on my conscience. Where's this jailhouse? It's out the back of the Merchant's Bank, just past the old water tower. We better keep off the streets. The tainted are roaming everywhere. There's a secret crypt under the church that leads out to someplace safe. We can use that. My father built it when he was minister. Okay, get your father and let's go. I can't. I mean, he wouldn't pledge himself to Dagon. He called it blasphemy. The Order found him and... And... Jeez. I'm sorry, Rebecca. Did your father ever show you how to get into this crypt? No. But he gave me this. I think it'll help. Well, apparently we got something. He found us. We have to leave now. <laughs> the church is this way. Follow me. We don't need to escape to the church. So let's... Make a run for it. God help us! We'll have to make a run for it. Follow me. So here we go. We have to hope that we're not hit. Oh, well, hey, open up the door, or not, because you're dead now. Oh boy. And we just can lock her outside because. Well, we can't really do anything for her now. So that was interesting. We're not making any effort to break into the church, though, it looks like. And now we know that Brian is alive in the jailhouse. So 
So anyone who was nice to us is now dead. Except for Mackie, we don't know what's up with him. But he wasn't really nice as much as he was civil. And if we uh, check out the altar here, we can see that up on the cross. They got their own archer figure. As I guess churches are obligated to have. The defacement of the church must have happened many months ago. Also, we can't pick up that thing because we are in tip top shape, I guess. Except for our sanity, I think we can actually use morphine. But uh, that comes with side effects. I'm not quite sure what they are. I think they're just sanity related. Also, here's uh, there's a raised section of tiling in the baptismal pool. Yep, a race tile. If you're willing to come out now, we'll not gut the gal's carcass. It's not so nice of you, anyway. To solve a little puzzle here involving these bells. I think the clue for what was in the diary. Oh wait, missing entries. <laughs> well, I miss the diary of Jack Walters in the amnesia years. Where he was committed to the asylum, but then released when apparently he realized that he was harmless. Here we go. I ring the bells from the lowest unto the highest, and shall I enter into your secrets, into the sacrament of baptism? Well, and there are four handmade holes in the postcard that apparently we got, so let's ring the bells here from the lowest to the highest. And faintly hear something moving in the distance. And save before we continue on. Just give yourself up, outsider. The order will have mercy on your rotten soul. And realize that this thing is now open, so what can we find down here? Well, apparently a skull guarding a door and glyphs. Venus Nigritai, Nigritai Iganur, Chthonius Gaudinaus. I can barely tell what that says, but. I guess it's supposed to be Latin. There are markings everywhere. It must have been down here that Rebecca's father figured out that mysterious sign. Yeah, I guess this is where he found out about the Elder Sign and... It's a registry of births, deaths and marriages in Innsmouth. This very smox looking skull to hold a candle. Hmm. And here's a series of numbers. A small stone plaque engraved with a series of numbers. So we have to do something with it, but first we can... It's the coffin of Tom Pickett, who died in 1837, aged 49. It's the coffin of Denise <laughs> who died in 1852, aged 27. I don't know if the coffins are supposed to be it's Easter eggs. It's the coffin of Tom Pickett. Who died in 1837, aged 49. Or else, I don't know. Was it on the wall? I must have missed it. Pretty much looks like uh, sorted symbols to me. I don't know. But since the postcard has the holes in it, we can place that on the numbers. The postcard fits exactly over the plaque. I can see some of the numbers. And that gives us a code, so it's it 3157. Sort of Starting clockwise, I wonder what that could mean. Yes, yes, that's it. I've cracked it. Well, the safe holds a stone cross. Get a stone cross for our troubles, it seems, and I trust nothing they all else to be gone here. On the history of Innsmouth. 
Also, didn't we get another document on the desk there? Registry of births, deaths and marriages. Alright. So far something normal, but in 1846 there's 243 deaths. Of which 235 are in the disturbances and epidemic. Oh boy. One coffin upon being accidentally dropped broke open and was found to contain rocks and logs, which was not buried. And non-registered marriages, oh boy. So... Earth's deaths and marriages stopped being registered. The church. Well, there's, there's a small stone disc here, hollowed out with the carving of an upside-down cross. So let's use our stone cross on that and unblock the way forward, which is apparently guarded by a coffin. Go back down to the sewers, oh boy, our favorite place in the world. <laughs> Apparently there's no reflection though. Of us on the water. And uh, if we follow the childish sounds. We can find another one of these medkits that we cannot pick up because we have too many. Can't get another one of these visions so far. Asylum room, which this time leads out into the hallway. <laughs> and zoom in on someone up ahead. <laughs> so let's carry on our merry way. It's clearly something to be ignored. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are scripted. And, uh, let me see. Oh. Nothing else this way, just an elder sign. Proceed. Hmm. Well, there's a couple of dudes over there. I don't think we're supposed to go that way, though. Because we've got, we found the bank, the burning bank. That apparently, we have to cross in order to get Did to get to where um, the jailhouse is. I wonder when the bank caught fire though, since, well, I don't think it is that close to another save point. Yes, apparently the fire amulet we leave is recent due to the fact that it's still red hot. And now there's people down there, and I'm pretty sure if we try to jump across here, these things are gonna break Spread and on. give away our position and Start make us get hurt. Area. Oh boy. Shit. Some of the planks look weak. I'd better watch my step. See, you could have um, said that before, Jack. It would have been more useful. It's some warning. You don't give. Oh, also I'm... Having a hard time spotting the place where I need to go to climb further up because I think that's the way this is gonna work. All right, I guess this way. Yep, here we go. Oh boy. How? Um, Jack, what was that moon jump? Pretty sure that was not normal. Oh god. Also, I'm in danger of falling off. Let me guess. I need a splint and 
That is all right. Yes, broken legs are have the biggest impact on oh boy your ability to walk right, just like in real life. Also, we're getting lots of vertigo here from. Well, not just vertigo, but also apparently we get... Oh god, oh god. <laughs> so that didn't go so well. Not just vertigo, but apparently we also get sanity loss from looking at a large group of enemies that are after us. So I guess maybe I will need the second save point. Telling you to close the door from the inside, thank you very much. Did we get hurt? No, we did not. Alright. So, why not? I mean, I'm not really concerned with the number of saves that I do, so I will be using those very liberally, especially towards the end, when well, it's necessary to avoid frustration. Oh boy. Shit. Some of the planks look weak. I better watch myself. So let me try this um, again. Try not to be, be uh, affected by these strange vision effects, which, you know, is kind of made difficult by that make they make stuff look like it's moving side to side. And maybe it also makes Jack move from side to side because kind of getting that effect, that impression from the way he's moving. Boy. Well, we're almost to the end. There we go. That took long enough. Now what? Now you're this way and don't stop until we're on solid ground. Right. And that's a water tower, so we're even closer to our objective now. But we still have to do the whole uh, Batman rooftop jumping thing to proceed. Oh man. And avoid shots. Like that. I think there's a safe point inside the water tower as well. So why not? And now we have to jump off this thing as well, so we can reach another door. Find another way from which to jump. Or at least I think so, because there's really no other way to do this. Oh, here we go. Get on the roof and come in this room through the window. Search the area. It won't budge. And here we go. Going to this platform with the crates on it, get on it and jump across. Doesn't really look like we can make the jump, but we can. And in here we find some more ammo and a familiar face. Hello, Jack. Mackie, have you been tailing me? You could say that. Drop me a line next time you're planning on taking the stealthy approach. I'll watch and take notes. Funny. I don't get it, Maggie. What's your angle on all of this? I already told you. I work for the government. I've got friends at the top. Friends who've invested a lot of time and dough in Innsmouth. They don't want to see their investigation set back by some private op turning up the heat with some mindless caper. If you mean the Burnham boy, they're gonna kill him, Maggie. You know it and I know it. I can't let that happen. You're not thinking of breaking him out. He's just a punk, Jack. Where's the jailhouse, Mackie? Very well. It's your funeral. The window over there to your left looks over the jail back alley. 
See you around, Mackie. <laughs> so we're on our way to the jail. Anything else we can learn from Mackie? I guess not right now. We just don't want to talk. Or it's not triggering right. Can't you? It won't budge. Oh, it won't budge. What can no, you never mind. Here we order. go. They control all aspects of life in Innsmouth, Jack. Law, business, religion, politics, everything. Robert Marsh is the man at the top. He's a real recluse. No one born out of Innsmouth has set eyes on him in decades. The government has nothing on this Marsh fella? Only that he's an intensely religious man, obsessed with fanaticism and witchcraft. He's evil, Jack. Rumors round these parts reckon even Beelzebub himself lies in fear of Robert Marsh. Alright, so Robert Marsh is quite a nasty character. What about the rest of the Marsh family? Well, there's Sebastian, Robert's elder brother. He's the manager of the Marsh refinery. He's more of a businessman. There's gossip on the streets of a feud between the brothers. Hold on a second, Mackie. I thought Jacob Marsh was the refinery manager. Well, yes, he is. Jacob is Sebastian's son. He handles the day-to-day -day running of the place, but the real power lies with Sebastian. Apparently Robert is worse, though. Where's the jailhouse? At the end of the main corridor. Just through the window. I'm Thanks, pretty Maggie. sure this next part I had to redo a bunch of times. Where's the jailhouse? Oh, okay. At the end of the main corridor. Just through the window. Thanks, Mackie. I don't know why it goes into cinematic mode if he's just going to repeat that, but alright. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this next part is pretty tricky. Because you pretty much have to learn it. So, well, I guess we found the found time to write in our diary in between all this. How could I know if I'm paranoid or not? Well, 